Ostriches are the largest birds on Earth. They cannot fly, but they can run at speeds of 48 kilometers per hour, 20 minutes at a stretch without tiring. These wild ostriches can only now be found in Africa. But once, there was an ostrich that lived throughout the wastes of the Middle East, from the Euphrates Valley in the east to the Sinai Desert in the west. The Arabian ostrich was the smallest species, but even so, it was still taller and heavier than a large man. Its feathers were as lavish as other ostriches, and its body was as strong and muscular. But its most remarkable feature was its ability to survive, even in the most unwelcoming and hostile environment. Little vegetation grows in the deserts of the Middle East. The Arabian ostrich survived mainly on the parasitic flowering shoots that grow on the roots of the garda bush. The desert is hot and dry, swept by violent winds, and when the rains come, they wash everything away in flash floods. Survival here is tough, but some humans managed it. The nomadic Bedouins hunted the ostrich for meat, but didn't often catch them. The Bedouins were an aggressive people, and their Arab horses have always been famed for their speed. But healthy ostriches were even faster, and they could be just as aggressive. Their sharp claws and strong legs could shatter a skull or disembowel a man. When threatened, the Arabian ostrich would work itself into a frenzy of anger and, devoid of all fear, it would attack. During the mating season, in winter when the food was most readily available, they would perform a war dance, much like this African ostrich. The females laid as many eggs as 20, packing them tightly, half buried in a nest of sand. They dig a trench round it to protect it from floods. The eggs were smaller than other ostriches, but more brightly polished. In case food was scarce when the chicks hatched, the ostrich would lay a couple more eggs about five metres away to provide their first meal. However harsh the conditions, it seemed the ostriches could always cope with them. But there was no avoiding the sudden changes that were to take place as a result of human vanity. Ostrich feathers had for some time been a popular fashion accessory. At first, they came mainly from Africa, where the trade routes were well established and it was easier to shoot the birds and export their feathers to Europe. There, they proved very valuable and popular among fashionable women. However, during and after the First World War, many new roads were built and the Arabian ostriches also became a target. So many birds were killed that the feather trade even provided funds for the Arab march on Damascus. But in 1928, just 10 years after the war, the ostriches had all but disappeared. In 1941, at an oil pipeline north of Bahrain, the last sighting of a live Arabian ostrich was recorded. This lonely nomad was shot dead and eaten by the workers. The ostrich was a tough survivor and may have struggled on for several years. As late as 1966, an unauthenticated corpse was reported in Jordan after a flash flood. But it is now certain that the Arabian ostrich's beauty and aggression has been eliminated by man's desire for both. <laughs>